Hello everyone, welcome to this worship, to this vlog. Um, these vlogs of worship continue as do the 60 second slots and the um, Sunday morning services are all on our Fenny Church's YouTube channel um, that you can search for um, and uh, if you uh, subscribe that makes us easier to find uh, then just click that top right hand button and please remember to give us lots of likes. Also remember that for uh, people who can feel able to meet together for worship. Both churches are open twice a week. St Francis um, at 10.30am um, on Sunday and 10am uh, Wednesday and Emmanuel at 9.30am on Sundays and 7.30pm on Thursdays. It would be lovely to see uh, people there but we do realise that pe some people can't get to church so these uh, vlogs, these services uh, and 60 second slots will continue. Let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. A song of God's descending. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my crown, my fortress, and my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice in his temple, and my cry came to his ears. He parted the heavens and came down, and thick darkness was under his feet. He rode upon the cherubim and flew. He came flying on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering round about him, dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence, through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice with hailstones and coals of fire. For you will save a lowly people and bring down the high looks of the proud. You also shall light my candle. The Lord my God shall make my darkness to be bright. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this day may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. And as our prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. A Song of the Blessed. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Eternal Lord, our beginning and our end, bring us with the whole creation to your glory, hidden through past ages, and made known in Jesus Christ, our Lord. reading from John's Gospel, chapter 14, beginning at the first verse. 
Do not be worried and upset, Jesus told them. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my father's house and I am going to prepare a place for you. I would not tell you this if it were not so. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way to get there? Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Now that you have known me, he said to them, you will know my Father also. And from now on you do know him, and you have seen him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In that well-known, famous reading, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And just how we follow in the way that Jesus shows us and points us to and encourages us to follow in him is something worth thinking about. One way of thinking about this is the traditional Anglican doctrine of scripture, tradition, and reason. And scripture being the word of God in the Bible, uh, tradition being how that's understood by the community of the church together, and reason being the voice of conscience in our head as a, uh, Aquinas, I think it said, uh, the voice of conscience is the voice of God. But all those three things held together, scripture, scripture, tradition, and reason, like signposts pointing us in the way. And one way of um, understanding this or approaching it is actually by something that's in our vicarage front garden. In that Bible reading from John's Gospel where Jesus says that he is the way, the truth and the life, it um, got me thinking about how we find our way to destinations and how we find our way to places and how we find our way through life. If I was to set off on a journey, there are lots of things that could help me uh, to find the best route, the best path, the best road to where I'm going. Uh, the one I would use most readily now is, of course, my sat-nav, along with uh, everyone else who has a mobile. You can look at it, uh, you can tell you where there are traffic hold-ups, it'll tell you the most direct, quickest route on the day, and you can press a little, click a little button, and a voice will actually tell you where to turn. But there are lots of other ways as well, uh, ways that we can still use that are still helpful. So one of the, uh, the best ways is obviously a road atlas. It's one from France, 2019. And that's a, a great advantage is you can see a much bigger area and you can plan your route out and have an idea spatially about where you're going. Of course, another way is to follow these, to follow road signs, uh, to look at where, uh, the, uh, to each junction you need to turn by following a sign pointing to your destination. And there are many others as well. A, a ship at sea doesn't have a road atlas or a, um, a sat nav, but it, in a way it does because it can navigate by the stars or perhaps a lighthouse. And these are all different ways in which we can find our way to a, a physical destination. But this is the crucial. None of them are 100% uh, fail safe and uh, perfect on their own. So for example, a sat nav, um, I uh, heard of a man who lived in London who uh, got tickets for a, a match to see Chelsea play. And I know that Chelsea play at Stamford Bridge, that's the name of their ground. So he typed Stamford Bridge into his sat nav and followed it. And quite without using any of his own um, uh, eyes or ears or sense of where he was going, found himself going right up the A1. Uh, following the road, of course, to Stamford Bridge in Northumberland, where the famous battle took place in 1066. So, sat that on its own, it, it does need to be combined with a certain amount of common sense. Similarly, a road atlas, very accurate, but as you can see, this one is 2019, and it may be that some of these roads have been changed, some have been superseded, there may be better routes have been built since then. So again, a road atlas has its limitations. And of course, a sign, you can see, uh, the sign here, anyone following this sign here would very soon uh, find themselves running up against a stone wall or uh, a grass verge, because of course this sign used to stand uh, over there, where um, 
at the junction of what is now the, the mini roundabout at the Fields and Arms. So it was useful then, but it's not so much use now in our, our garden. And uh, if you're like me, what you really want when you look at a roadside is to say, this is the way that David wants to go. And of course, no such road sign exists. So all of these other methods of uh, navigation all have to some extent their limitations. In other words, they all have to be used in conjunction one with another. And it's the same really when we think of how we navigate our way through life following Jesus. Jesus is the way, but how do we find that way in our own lives? Of course, one way is to listen to uh, that little voice in our head, the voice of conscience. Um, someone once said, the voice of conscience is the voice of God. So if, for example, I were to find a £10 note um, on the floor, um, the, my reaction would be to hold it and let people know uh, that I've got the £10 note. We might be tempted to just put it in our wallet, but we know in our minds that that's not the right thing to do. The voice of conscience could be one way to follow Jesus. Another way might be the Bible, because um, we would have to balance the voice of conscience because my conscience might tell me, do this, but your conscience might tell you, do that. We can't be entirely just subjective. So the voice of conscience, again, on its own, is not uh, sufficient of itself. We balance that about the word of God, what God teaches us and reveals in the Bible. But again, my interpretation of the Bible may not be yours. It may be conditioned by my own upbringing. In fact, it certainly is, just as everyone else's interpretation of the Bible is subjective. There's no one um, totally perfect revealed way of understanding the Bible. So again, we need to balance that and come to some understanding of the way the Bible teaches us uh, to follow Jesus. And the way I'd suggest we do that is in the community, as a church, we test our own, each individual understandings, one with another, as God's um, gathered people, where we can um, weigh our own uh, understanding of God's way against someone else's, and together, that's the crucial thing, it's a communal um, endeavour to work out God's way. So I would say the teachings of the church are the third way in which we can understand uh, Jesus being the way, the truth and the life. We follow our conscience, we follow the teachings of the Bible and we follow the teachings of the church and together those three in combination can help us find the way through uh, life's journey, life's path, life's roads, life's challenges, life's opportunities, the way that Jesus wants us to go towards fullness of life, following him, the way, the truth and the life.
Let us pray. Let us pray to God who has given us sure knowledge of his unchanging truth. As you have founded the church on the teachings of the apostles, grant that she may faithfully hold and make known the traditions which they taught. Give to all Christian people grace in their time to follow the example of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the light of the resurrection faith shine in the world, especially where vision is limited or hope is faint, where races and nations fall apart in dissension. Make them secure in the firm foundation of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Keep us, our families and friends, constant in faith. Protect us from error and make us messengers of the good news to those with whom we live and work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on those who have been led astray by false doctrine and restore them to purity of faith. Release those who, by seeking knowledge, have fallen into the power of bad knowledge and evil. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who suffer in body, mind or spirit, those who care for them at home or in hospital, and pray that we all may receive your spirit of healing, wholeness and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the departed who kept the faith and are now at rest. May they rejoice in the fellowship of the apostles whose teaching was their guide in this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray that Christ will grant us the true following of his way, his truth and his life. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and with all whom you hold in your hearts this day and forevermore. Amen. So thank you very much for sharing in this worship together on our Fenny Church's YouTube channel, remembering that we're all uh, one people, God's people worshipping God, it's uh, St Francis Emmanuel and online together. And a further way in which we uh, are planning to expand this is uh, beginning a week on Sunday, so that's the 27th of September. I'm going to be uh, hosting a, a Zoom Sunday School, the Fenny Church's Sunday Zoom School, uh, from 9am to 9.15am. And this is um, going to be a time of stories, competitions, uh, interactive conversations, um, lots of activities. Um, uh, for any young person from St Francis or Emmanuel, or any young person at all, uh, on Zoom, so it's interactive, and if you know of any young person who would uh, enjoy being part of that, uh, you know, have a break from cartoons or uh, Disney Channel or whatever it is from 9 o'clock to 9.15, uh, and join together with other young people, other children as well, which is so important. Uh, a lot of that has been missed. Uh, just that at uh, that time, it could be available every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. to 9.15. So to access that, um, I'll need a parent or guardian to contact me and I can give them the passwords and access uh, codes. Uh, so that's 07506 552 784 or at d.rosco.sky.com. Uh, any young person will be uh, more than welcome. So thank you for watching this. Please remember to spread the word of our Fanny Church's YouTube channel. And until the next worship, take care and still keep safe and God bless.